hey what's going on everybody anyways uh ran out of time on my video so i wanted to put this little shout out here in the beginning you know and and uh, just ask you guys to hit the like button on the video uh, leave a comment subscribe to the channel share this to your friends somebody you think might enjoy it or get some use out of it all that stuff helps out the algorithm and it, it uh, lets youtube know that people are enjoying the content and it, it uh, allows youtube to get the message out you know or get my videos out to more people and if we can help more people out there who are suffering that's our uh, primary purpose right so i'm just here to try and do my part and make some videos get them uploaded to the internet maybe somebody sees it today maybe somebody sees this in 10 years and it helps them out then so anyways i'm doing my part i just ask you guys to to help out a little bit hit the like button leave a comment you know it's real simple everything's free it just takes a minute of your time you know if you just leave a comment with two or three words just say hey thanks kenny or or a good video or whatever you know uh, just leave a comment in there let it help out the algorithm and get the message out to more and more people uh, you're going to see that I forgot my Living Sober book. Today we're in Drop the Rock talking about the sixth step. And uh, I hope you enjoy the content. And we'll be back on Living Sober on the next one. Thanks a lot, guys. God bless. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Well, I made a little bit of a mistake tonight. I was coming down to my Wednesday night meeting, Bud Line. And I thought I'd grab my Living Sober book, but I grabbed Drop the Rock. I'm outside here on the bench just now and I'm going to start reading and I realized I brought the wrong book but this video is coming out tomorrow morning so I need to get something up there. I opened up to page 25 and dropped the rock. We're working on step 6. It says prayer is a special time by Chris. Alright, prayer is a special time I share with God. Prayer is the means I use to talk with God and to listen as God communicates with me. When I pray, I become still and quiet, and I quiet any unrest within me. I reaffirm my oneness with my higher power, and I find the answers I seek. I do not limit my prayers to a certain time or a particular place. Whenever a small success enters my life or a moment of joy illuminates my day, I silently thank God for those blessings. Every time I affirm God as the source of my good and give thanks for the many channels through which it comes, I am praying to God. Prayer enables me to know and feel that I am a beloved child of God. I am needed because I can be an expression of good in the world. I am a useful person. All right, now I'm just going to go in to learn how to meditate. Meditation and prayer are traditionally discussed in the 11th step, but we can put them to use here if we choose. Those in the program for a while realize that the steps are synergistic and that after a while they will be practicing parts of one with many others, all at the same time. Meditation is a practice that can be utilized throughout the whole program. Meditation is mostly about listening and quieting our mind. So just take a quiet time. Although much, not much is said in the big book or the 12 and 12 about how to meditate, we are instructed to practice and become intuitive to the presence of God. We practice meditation as a discipline in our own way until we have made it a regular part of our routine. Some members benefit by reading books about meditation and its methods. Others have attended classes in their local community college, yoga center, or church. Just as with prayer and other positive disciplines in recovery, the benefits of meditation only become apparent through practice. In using meditation for the sixth step, a form of <clears throat> contemplation can be used. Taking a single word or thought and letting it run through our mind can be very revealing. Take, for example, the word surrender. We may start by repeating the word in our mind over and over. Surrender, 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 give up, release, let go, surrender, peace, renewal, surrender, 
vulnerable, open, surrender, surrender, strength, change, higher power, surrender. We can keep the string of thoughts going for a while, probably no more than five minutes to start, as we do our regular morning or evening routine of prayer and meditation. Prayer is seeing answers and direction in life. Meditation is listening for answers from a higher power and developing the ability within ourselves to accept the answers. Reflection is the study of ways to turn the answers we get from prayer and meditation into action. Reflection is the study of meaning and uses of the 12 steps. It is not a snap judgment. It requires consideration of the pros and cons of our possible choices and determination of what directions we will take <clears throat> to give us the best results. The program of spirituality from prayer to meditation to reflection is active, not passive. It is taking part in the joy of putting the results of prayer and meditation into action. We learn through times of quiet reflection to work into our lives the answers our higher power has given us as a result of our prayer and meditation. Prayer, meditation, and reflection will also give us awareness of our particular forms of resistance. This knowledge lets us know how we are doing it wrong, such as finding out our shoelaces aren't tied together so we can tie them. In this type of contemplation, a new awareness and focus will arise. If we are uncomfortable with traditional meditation and prayer, we may try learning some simple practices of quieting the mind and gaining concentration. We use our intuition as, and sense of higher purpose to find a comfortable method to practice becoming entirely ready. We, gling, we gain clarity and vision. Whatever method we use, meditation helps determine the shape of our prayer and the direction of our surrender. So what we're reading about here is step six, which means that we became <clears throat> entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. And that's what we're doing. We're trying to better a relationship with God in the best way once we've worked out what our faults are and ask God's forgiveness is to ask God to take them away. And then we can go on and make amends to others and clear up our wreckage. All right, guys, hit that like. It's easy, it's free, it helps out. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment, share.